Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go over uh, these tool belts here. This is one that I've had for about five years. Really like it a lot, uh, but I recently switched over to this setup, and um, I'll, gonna sh I'll show you what I like about that one, what I don't like about it, why I switched to this setup, and why I think this setup is one of the best that you can get. So, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, let's get started. This is the 9855 uh, adjust to fit fat lip framer from Occidental Leather, made in the USA, um, super high quality tool belt. I really got a lot of use out of it. I've had it for like a, about five years, like I said, um, using it you know, every single day. And it's uh, been a really awesome belt. It's held up you know, fairly well, I think, for how, well, for how heavily I've used it. Starting to you know, wear out you know, in some spots, it's fraying. Um, wearing through probably the, the best thing with about this belt is that it has a lot of storage space for fasteners yeah, you could put like you know you could put 10 sticks of gun nails in here kind of this this heavy rim here that kind of holds the bag out so you can you know get your hand in there and fit lots of stuff in there um, lots of pockets for tool storage and just you know just a great durable setup probably the biggest thing that I don't like about it and probably you know one of the reasons that I switched is just because of how it sits on my body it just sits really low and all the weight just kind of seems to it's kind of hanging off of me instead of you know being tight against me I'm not sure how to explain it but basically it's they're just kind of heavy and kind of you know they're just kind of floppy when it's loaded up with tools they're kind of you know they're kind of floppy it's just more tool belt than I need basically and the right, uh, you know, for the right task, these would be awesome. And a lot of guys use these and like them a lot. They're one of the more expensive uh, belts that uh, Occidental makes. So they're definitely high quality belt for the right task. Really enjoyed it and uh, excited to, you know, break in my new one and see how I like the two you know, over time, which one I like better. But I think I'm probably going, leaning towards the one I have now. So let's get into that one and uh, show you guys what I like about it. So this is the number one reason why I switched to this setup from my old one. Um, this is a Buckaroo Leather Works. It's Australian made. Um, they make super high quality leather tool belts. Um, you get, there's this belt and there's another one. This is called the um, back support belt. And then they also have the belt. It's called an all, it's called the all rounder belt. And um, so you can buy the belt and you can get, They've got multiple different bags, um, you know, uh, fastener bags, and then they call them frogs. They're like, you know, a tape hook or a hammer loop or a chisel, you know, all these different pouches that you can um, add onto this. You know, you can you can customize it um, exactly how you want it. And obviously you can put on different, you know, brand pockets. You could buy pouches from whatever company and you could stick them on here. Um, the reason I didn't choose to go with the full uh, Buckaroo system. I've used Occidental for a long time. It's kind of what I like. It's what I'm used to. Um, it's a little bit more accommodating to the type of work that I do. But definitely check out Buckaroo, their website. They've got awesome products. Highly recommend this uh, this belt and all their products. Um, so I'm going to go over this belt here and show you some of the features. It's got a inner belt that's got this uh, merino wool, I think it is super soft and velvety and uh this is the part that actually sits you know against your hips um this is nice and wide it's like four inches wide here um their all-rounder belt i think is you know, maybe just about this wide the whole way around this is the back support belt like i said so the wide nice pad that's gonna um, give you comfort obviously help with back support and um on this side there's this belt this is actually leather here this is like a nice heavy leather um, that's attached to the outside of, of the, you know, the inner belt. There's a buckle right here that you can you know, loosen, pull this out, and you can add your bags on however you want. And there's this kind of a, you know, another really high quality, um, I don't know what that is. It literally is like a seat belt. It looks, it's, it's like the exact same texture of a seat belt. Obviously it's gonna be very, very durable. Um, and then this, I think there's kind of a layer in between that's like a thick nylon. So you got like a wool here that's really thick, a nice thick nylon of some kind with this seat belt type material. 
on top of that that's stitched you know against this one um, and then there's this belt out here that holds your bag so it's very well built I mean the buckles are like super sturdy and feel solid um, you know just high quality if you look at that the, the rivets in here large um, this thing is beefy and uh, just a really really high quality product this uh, strap here is like a full almost a quarter inch thick leather so I know this is going to last for a long time. Um, so I wanted to try this out to see if I could get some better comfort. I don't wear suspenders with my tool belts. So I you know, wanted something that could maybe help my hips a little bit more and also my back. You know, I do a lot of bending over and obviously strenuous uh, work that's going to be hard on the back. And hopefully this will help with that. I've only had it for about three weeks, but so far I like it. So let's get into the bags and and why I chose these specific bags. So these are the bags that I chose to put onto my buckaroo belt. Two reasons why I chose this one. This is the left side uh, fastener belt or a pouch. And two reasons why I chose this one. Number one is that it's the lightest bag that you can get with from Occidental. The lightest, you know, actual full size bag. I mean, by like an ounce, maybe there's other others that are really close, but this one's really light. It's it's all pretty much all nylon with um, a couple, you know, leather accents and whatever. And then also the second thing that's really cool is this is this has more pockets and, uh, you know, tool holders or whatever than any other single pouch that Occidental makes. Uh, on the website, it's actually specified as a trim pocket or a trim pouch. But it's just perfect for what I need. It's got a um, inside here. It has a pocket here. It has an oxy tool shield, which I'm going to take out because I don't actually use these. But it comes with one, just so you can see. I haven't been using it. And so it has two pockets here for you know tools. It's got a kind of a wide um, you know pocket against the, the back here. You could put you know whatever. Probably meant for putting in like strips of finish nails, you know, in there. A nice roomy pocket here. The speed square slot right there and it's got two fastener pouches on the outside um here it has like a this patch is open on the top so you can stick bits in there so i stick like drill bits and stuff in there and it's got a nice pocket on the side leather thing for like a cat spa and then two um like pencil pouches so got a lot packed into this small bag and it's just perfect for what i you know what i wanted it's light and it's got a lot of features. So I want that on my left side. This is the five in one tool pouch. I have a video on this uh, review on this one specifically. So check that out, uh, link in description. Um, this one's got five holders. Have that one on the back in the middle. And then this is the one that I chose for the uh, right hand side. I don't remember the model numbers for all these, um, but if you go on, I'll, I'll leave links in the description for all of these on um, Amazon as well as the Accidental website. First of all, I don't know if you noticed this here. Um, this has not come with this pouch. This is something that I added on. They make a version of this exact same pouch that has a tape uh, like pocket right here. And of course, there's always going to be that pocket in the way for my hand to get down into this pocket and you know block kind of um, some of these tools in here. So I chose to go without that pocket. And I <clears throat> initially I cut a slot in here which was kind of a mistake. I thought I could hook my tape right onto that leather. Um, I actually cut two, so it was kind of dumb. I cut one here and I cut one here. First I put it here and I realized it was right over top of like my pencil. I couldn't get my pencil out. So I cut a new one here and then the, I, the leather wasn't really holding up. It wasn't, just wasn't working. So I got this tape holder from an old belt or something and I bolted it on there. So that works really well, um, but that does not actually come with this pouch. Um, but this is just a good pouch. It's got two pockets on the right, which I wanted, you know, on the outside. And then the nail, the hammer loop, which I love. And then it's got, you know, multiple tool um, things on the inside. So this is what I chose for the right side. And that is my current setup. Like I said, I've had it for about three weeks. And uh, so far, it's it's been good. It's kind of been a break-in process still. So... You know, the belt's a little bit stiff, but it's it'll you know over you know next couple of weeks it'll work in and it'll uh, loosen up for sure. Um, something that I like about both of these belts is the fact that there's not a belt 
with pocket, you know, with pouches on them that can slide around and fall off. You know, this one's kind of more like that, but it's got these dividers in the back that uh, keep them from sliding around. They'll stay there. You can hold the belt up by the end and you know, they won't fall off. So right away you'll notice these are much higher up on my body. Um, they're much, you know, closer to work out of. It took some getting used to actually. At first I wasn't totally sure if I like it as much as my old one, but I think it was just because I'm used to that. And uh, now that I've used it, I really like the way it's set up. You know, it's just a little more, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like it's it's flopping. I do this, it's like stuck to my body. One con I would say for some people, for me, it's not an issue, but something that might be an issue for some people is the fact that, especially this side, it's, it's pretty wide, you know, it sticks out um, a good, you know, six, eight inches away from my body. And this one does as well, not quite as much, but... So if you're trying to, if you're doing framing, you're trying to fit through, you know, 16 inch studs or whatever, that could be an issue. The um, bags that Buckaroo makes are like super, super skinny. That's something that's really cool about their bags. They're basically like, you know, maybe two inches thick at the most. I mean, if you got, you know, loaded with tools, it might be more, but they're basically flat. They just sit right against your, your thighs and they're like square and flat. <clears throat> so that could be handy in certain situations. But, uh, so I've got a lot of tool storage in the back. I've got that for, um, extra tool pouches. Obviously, I can keep my hammer here, but I keep my hammer in the front here. And, um, I'll use this for a spare hammer or a hammer tack or whatever. But it's really comfortable. I can wear it up, you know, pretty high on my, on my hips. And over time, this belt will really conform to my, um, you know, my, my hips and my bones or whatever. So I'm really pleased with it overall. I think that I'm really gonna enjoy it. And I, I'm glad I switched over. Um, the weight difference is not a, a ton, but it's a little bit lighter. So I'm happy about that. And the, the awesome thing about this belt setup here is that with this Buckaroo belt, which I, I highly recommend this belt, and <clears throat> what's so cool about it is you can customize it exactly how you need for the tools that you need. That's something that I always struggle with. Um, just buying a, you know, a set of bags is that they weren't tailored to, to my exact tool needs. You know, I like to have my tools exactly where I need them, exactly where I want them every single time. I don't want to just pile, you know, tools in my bags or whatever. I want to have a spot for every single tool. And that's what I did with this setup. I, I went on to Oxenal's website and I looked through all their bags and I decided, you know, I kind of looked at the different features of each one, settled on this, these particular ones because of how they were set up. And this 5 in one tool hole in the back is just perfect for what I need. There's also other belts that you can buy that are similar to this Buckaroo belt. But I think as far as quality and comfort goes, this Buckaroo belt, um, from what I've seen out there, is going to just blow everything else out of the water. And you can obviously get um, bags that are more suitable for your specific needs. Alright guys, that's been the review of the Buckaroo tool belt and my setup. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. Stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you on the next one.